hello and welcome back to my channel today we're going to do another pick a card reading and this is for your love life reading i have noticed that a lot of you like to watch my pick a card reading so i figured i'd do more and in this reading i will add a charm casting as well but before I begin, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so that you'll get notified on my next upload. I'm uploading a new video every week and I'm offering a free tarot reading for all of my subscribers. So if you would like to have your reading with me, you can just send a message to my email or a direct message to my Instagram. All of the details will be in the description box below. Alright, let's just start so as usual we have three piles for you to choose here just close your eyes and just relax and once you're ready you can open your eyes and choose the pile that you are most drawn to so this will be pile number one pile number two and pile number three if you choose pile number one you can just continue with me but if you choose pile number two or three, you can skip right through your reading from the timestamp that I will put in the comment section below. Alright, let's just start with the reading for pile number one. Okay, so pile number one from the first tarot deck, you have Knight of Wands and Five of Wands. And from the second deck, you have Knight of Swords. Four of Wands and Three of Cups. I think that the Knight of Wands here represents your energy or this could be your partner's energy. And I feel that you are in a relationship where both of you are very passionate about. Okay, so we see that you have Knight of Wands and Knight of Swords here. So I feel that these two represent that both of you are very strong. And sometimes it can be the downfall in your relationship because then it causes stubbornness. With this Five of Wands, I get a feeling that there are lots of conflicts um, between you two. But at the same time, it's not something bad. It's more about how you miscommunicate with each other and then you fight with each other. But after that, you both realize that there was something wrong with the way you communicate and that you both need to find a better way. You both need to find a common ground. And with this four of wands here, this shows that no matter how sometimes you feel like you hate each other or you can't stand each other, but deep down you know that it's just a temporary feeling and that you both just need to cool down and talk it out later and there's always a solution to your problems so I feel like there are lots of sparkle in your relationship there are lots of things going on in your relationship but then it's not something bad so it happened to even strengthen the relationship and this three of cups I feel that this is a reminder that if the two of you couldn't find a common ground couldn't find the middle ground I think that maybe find someone who will be objective in this I feel that you both can use a little break I don't mean like break that you don't communicate with each other but it's more like a little break so that you and your partner can spend some time apart and use that time to connect with friends connect with families and I think that you both will appreciate each other more after spending time to maybe cool down a little bit and have some time to miss each other as well you have this take back your power it says use your god-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life 
So I feel that with all of this conflict that is happening in your relationship, I feel that you can either use that to break your relationship or to strengthen your relationship. So you just have to know that the power is in you and your partner. And your angel card is the angel of enlightenment. So I feel that in this relationship, both you and your partners will need a lot of time to get to know each other, um, you know, be patient and learn from whatever happened between you two. And I think that you both will grow so much from this relationship. Okay, now we will read more from the charm about your relationship with your partner. Okay, so this is for pile number one. Right. So you have a letter C. Um, you have the love heart here, another heart, flower. Uh, I'm trying to not move um, where it landed because I want to connect with uh, the reading as well. So you have another letter which is a D. So you have a C and a D. I'll just put the, the letter together here. Okay. And okay, so you have a lot of love. So no matter how many conflicts you both have, it will strengthen the relationship. And also you have the flower that fell on this card. This represents growing and blossom. So yeah, I think you can use this conflicts or misunderstanding or disagreement to get to know more about each other. And the safety pin and the button fell in this Knight of Wands. It could mean a few things, but what I get is about baby. Um, or childhood so you probably know each other since a long time ago or that you know you feel like you knew each other a long time even though you just met you have the helm that fell on the knight of swords here so I feel that this person so either way would be you or your partner but this knight of swords with the helm, I feel that this is the person who like take a lot of decision in the relationship could also be controlling so if this is an issue you may need to talk this out but sometimes I feel that you know being controlling uh, doesn't equal something negative in the relationship because sometimes another person is not the type of person who can easily make a decision so they need someone who can help them make a better decision so they need this firm hand so i feel that this could means like that as well and uh, lady buck here represents this relationship will teach each other a lot and you will grow so much together and you have the shooting star and the love that fell in your oracle card. So the shooting stars for me represents hope. And like I said just now about the oracle card, you have the power to make this relationship work, to make the best out of it for you and your partner. So this shooting star represents hope that you have and you have the power to make it happen yeah all right i think that is all the reading for pile number one i would like to know what you think about this reading so please leave your comment down below thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next reading now we're going to continue the reading for pile number two Okay, so this is the reading for the Suchu's pile number two. So from the first deck, you have the death card 
and the princess of chalices and from the second deck you have ace of wands king of wands and ace of cups i feel that this death card represents that you have been transforming in your relationship it could mean that you have just ended a relationship or have just started a new relationship and I feel that the transformation here is talking about how you have been moving on from your past relationship or that you have finally start to embark a new journey in your love life and the princess of chalices here represents that you are ready and you are in love with someone you are feeling connected and very happy with the new relationship that is going on and you have the king of wands which i think that this is your partner's energy okay so regardless of your gender i don't mean that this should be a female energy but it's just you know your energy right now whatever is your gender you are opening your heart and this is the energy from that someone because the king of wands here is someone who is winning your heart this person knows exactly how to treat you how to talk to you how to make you feel special and you have two aces one is ace of wands and the other is ace of cups so this ace of cups will be about this princess of chalices and the ace of wands will be the king of wands energy and right away we can see that there's death card there's ace so it's like an ending of something and a lovely new beginning of this relationship i feel that this is something that you really need in your life you may be rejected or feel that you couldn't find someone but the universe shows you that there's someone out there for you and this is the one for you like you know this kind of feeling so i feel that you are really enjoying this new beginning of your relationship and then you, you have spread your wings this says do not hold back right now the timing is perfect and you are ready to soar yep this is basically talks about how you finally be able to find someone that you can connect directly and, and this person is someone who is right for you because this person knows how to treat you well and you have the angel of divine timing so this is all i feel that the reading for pile number two is so simple and so blissful because it's all about timing you have been patient enough or you have been doubting yourself for quite some times that you wouldn't find someone special that no one out there is good for you or you're not good enough for someone that is special or you know those kind of feeling but then when the timing's right you finally found someone special and that this someone special returns the same feeling so it's like a match right away. Number two. I need to pause the video and get your charm because some fell off the table and here you have number five and six both from the pink dice and then you have let the letter s and r you have the helm um 
I feel that this is like a turning point in your life and that sometimes you just have to trust the universe that everything will work out in the end everything will be okay and you will find your happiness you just have to let it happen and don't force it and in your card there's the bird house and dolphin and a shooting star I feel that this symbolize that you feel hopeful now with this shooting star and then the bird box is kind of represents how you can see that this relationship will have a future that you can see further ahead how you may build a family together with this person how you will build a a house that you both can call home and the dolphin here represents that you are ready to commit and that you will put your effort uh, into this relationship and this king of wands get a small lady um, I feel that this represents that this king of wands finally meet someone who he can protect I feel that the rose could symbolize something in your relationship maybe the special dinner that you have he brought you some flowers, some roses and the moon here I don't know why but I feel like you both kind of meet each other like accidentally or unintentionally getting to know each other more and be in the relationship like you didn't even plan to be with this someone and then end up meeting this person and connect with him or her and it surprises you and you have the heel here and the star so the heel here I feel that this symbolizes that you know the divine timing here is preparing you for like a special occasion like a special someone because you deserve to be treated good so the timing has to be perfect for you to meet this person and not end up with the wrong person and the star here i feel that this person will treat you like a star they will not take you for granted they will appreciate you for who you are and vice versa yeah i think that is all the reading for panel number two i would like to hear your thoughts about this reading so please share it in the comment section below thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next reading all right so this is the reading for those who choose panel number three from the first deck you have three of wands and the empress and from the second deck you have ten of wands five of cups and sun so for those who choose pile number three i feel that your focus currently is not in a partnership type of relationship but it's more about between you and your family it could be your siblings could be your parents and also it could be your children you could be a single parent as the empress here I feel that this could mean that you are a single parent and you are nurturing the relationship between you and your children or your child and with this uh, three of wands here you see that there's a dog with her so this could also mean that you are nurturing your pets although it could mean that you are in a relationship with someone but I feel that most of you who choose this pile is currently single but happy with it there's ten of wands here that represents that you are 
taking a lot of responsibility but it doesn't make you feel that you miss something or you need someone to be there for you to feel whole and the five of cups here i feel that you are focusing on self-love as well and that you believe that once you are able to love yourself for who you are you will have more love to give to another person you see that there are lots of things going on in the background here but you are busy with your life you're moving forward you're looking forward and you don't feel that you need to pay attention to any other thing for now and i feel that is a good thing to do and the sun here because you take your time to understand yourself better to you know take a good care of yourself i feel that you are very comfortable with yourself and that wherever you go you bring this positive energy brightness to the people around you and i feel that this influence a lot of people around you to feel the positivity as well and your oracle card is patient and it says trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career i think that your renewed passion here um, is about going back within it's about you start it with yourself first and then you can use that to spread more love and joy in your life not just in the relationship but also with your career this sun energy could also mean you are improving yourself especially in your career i feel that you you are taking this time to really improve yourself a lot by maybe learning new skills adapting to a new situation start a new business um, changing jobs or any other thing that makes you feel more confident about yourself and your angel card is the angel of the animal realm this is also another card that represents your connection with animals so maybe you are nurturing your pets maybe you're thinking of getting one so i think that this is the time for you to get um, a pet and i feel that you can benefit so much from having companionship from your pets all right we will do your charm casting okay so some charms are okay okay so i gathered some that fell onto the floor you have the letter s and z wait yeah it's a z and you have um two dashes red with five number five on it and the pink one with six on it so maybe these numbers mean something to you um you have the peace charm as well and the the seashell um well you have this charm it reminds me of like a baby you know when you have a newborn and you do like a footprint that you can put on a frame right after they they were born so like i said the empress here is about you nurturing your child or children and with this charm i feel that some of you might be expecting another child or uh, expecting a child and you have the key as well so i feel that this has the connection with the parenting i feel that it's good that you are focusing yourself with 
this child and that I feel parenting holds a key to someone who will grow up to be kind and loving and you have two pins here the baby pins so yeah I really feel that your nurturing it could mean your children or the pets that you will get or you're having I feel that for you it feels like you're taking care of a child you have the love with the flower in it so I think that this symbolizes that you know when you give love to this person it's unconditional you know when you give something without hoping to take something back or without hoping something in return um, some may feel that you lose something by giving but with this charm I feel that the message here is the more you give your love the more happy you are the more you feel that you are doing something good and although you don't want anything in return you get something out of it and you have the star here which symbolize like a hope or goals that you're looking forward into so I feel that this is also another focus that you're having right now you have another star here as well so yeah you are having a lot of goals that you want to achieve and it's good that you take care of yourself first you have the dragonfly here you are free to go wherever direction whichever direction you choose to be and then you have um, butterfly here so I feel that as I said the Sun could represent your career choice something that makes you confident um, with the butterfly charm here I feel that you are transforming yourself from something that you think you did okay you know you didn't really pay attention into but you ended up surprising yourself and it boosts up your confidence and self-esteem and then you have the peace sign here so I feel that overall you are really in tune with yourself and this give you inner peace so yeah that is all the reading for pile number three this is a very lovely reading for you i would like to hear your thoughts about this reading so please share it in the comment section below thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next reading